Now, San Jose Mayor Sam Licardo is the latest city leader to suggest that it may be time to cooperate with ICE to keep dangerous criminals off the streets. KPI X 5s Devin Feely joins us now with what the mayor said and the immediate backlash. Devin? Yeah, emotions ran red hot at last night's city council meeting. At the heart of this debate is a cold blooded murder, which the mayor says lays bare a fatal flaw in the county's immigration policy. But make no mistake, the mayor got an earful from activists and members of his own city council who disagree. I'm just going to say it felt a little uh, bit of a betrayal. San Jose City Council member Magdalena Carrasco didn't mince words as she took the mayor to task for urging the county and law enforcement to work with immigration officials. I felt that it, had, it was very divisive. Mayor Licardo has joined a growing chorus, including police chief Eddie Garcia, Sheriff Lori Smith, and DA Jeff Rosen, urging the county to rethink its policy of non cooperation with ICE agents. Calls that have only grown louder in the aftermath of the brutal murder of Bambi Larson. Well, I don't understand why they think it's a betrayal. I think it's important for us to protect our community. This is only a small step to protecting our community. The suspect in Larson's death, Carlos Arevalo Carranza, had been living in the country illegally and was in and out of jail, but was never turned over to federal agents. Mayor Licardo is pleading with the county to allow the jail and sheriff's office to, quote, pick up the phone and notify federal authorities before releasing a violent or predatory felon. There's been a lot of, I think, confusion, misstatements about the law. County Council James Williams says the mayor's position is well intentioned, but misguided. He says it's the feds' refusal to get warrants for people in custody that is the true failure. It's much better when we have a warrant, because when we get a warrant, we're actually able to directly hand the person off and have ICE take custody. A phone call or some other kind of notification, often that doesn't work. Now, to be very clear, the mayor says that the suspect had prior arrests for burglary and false imprisonment under the system he's proposing. That should have triggered a call to ICE agents. But the cold, stark reality is, in the age of Trump, any discussion of immigration policy is already super polarized. So is there really a chance for politicians and law enforcement to compromise to find some middle course? That really remains to be seen. In San Jose, Devin Feely, KPIX 5. Devin, thank you.